so before going with this video like uh, there is a tutorial i have written by my own a technical content on iot just go to wikitiki.com there is an icon iot just click it you are able to see entire iot technological content in that particular link just go there and check it out i'll put this link in the description also in the first comment Hi, this is Venkat here from Wikitech and Kashi and Fredak. So welcome to our video like uh, on IoT. So IoT is nothing but the abbreviation is Internet of Things. You may ask me a question, what is IoT, sir? IoT is nothing but controlling a thing via the Internet that is called as IoT. You may ask me a question, sir, like uh, till now we have seen hacking. Now you are jumping into IoT, why? So the thing is like I'm going to talk about IoT hacking in my next video. So before that I want to share the great technology IoT, Internet of Things. So IoT is the number one technology word and it is dominating the industry and it is ranked number one in 2022, 23, 24, the next upcoming 5 to 10 years IoT is going to dominate the industry. So let's move on to IoT. Before that IoT is a mix up of lot of technology. Let's move on. So what is IoT sir? Connecting the devices in the internet, connecting all the things, controlling all the things that is called as IoT. We are able to connect, control and we are able to use the devices via the internet. That is why it is called as Internet of Things. So let's move on to a practical example of how this IoT works. So IoT in the sense, I go like a wink at myself, I'm having a remote and I got a hardware. So via the remote, if I press it, the data is communicated to the hardware. From there, it will go to the internet. Over there, there is a server that is called as cloud servers. So the data, once if I press a remote, it is stored somewhere in the cloud servers. And that the data is retrieved by a device and it is controlling some things. That is called as internet of things. So the washing machine in US and I'm in India. From here, I'm trying to connect via the internet a US washing machine, a thing in US. That is called as Internet of Things. To become an Internet of Things specialist, you should be having a basic knowledge of electronics, embedded system, and you got cloud computing, artificial intelligence, robotics, and your typical programmer. Okay, if you are an IoT specialist, the job is yours. It's an awesome profile, top most profile in the world. Top most profile in the world. So start building a profile via IoT. Okay, so at the end of this particular video, you got some cash press question for you people to motivate my subscribers. And just see the video and answer the question. Get some cash press, man. So our company, Cash and Fertig, we are like we are providing IoT internships and also lots of technological courses. Many companies are looking for Cash and Infotech trained students. Again, okay, congrats to the December month winners and January month play, like, uh, placed candidates. And apart from that, like uh, if any of the companies or recruiters look into this video, please refer your candidates. Like, uh, you can share your uh, job description to us. We are ready to refer your like, uh, the candidates to you, the trained candidates, okay, or free of cost. And you can send it to this particular email ID. And apart from that, to my students, if you are looking for any career change, so they are looking for caution. We are looking for caution for the core students to send your profile to us. We are ready to refer you. Here are some of the opportunities I want to show you. There are many opportunities for samples I'm trying to show you. It came before one day, we need some PHP coding people and we need some networking candidates. Okay, so networking candidates. So like, once again, web designing candidates. And apart from that, we got some job vacancies over here. They're yeah, Java candidates. So actually the thing is like, uh, they are sending this particular requirement. Okay, so like uh, they, they ask for web design engineers and the dot .NET engineers, we send the resume and on top of it, they need some Java candidate also. Okay, there are plenty of opportunities. If you're looking for a job, treat me as a brother. You can contact me at any time. I am ready to help you. Okay, let's move on to our what is IoT concept, man. Internet of things, how the technology comes. So here is the history of IoT I'm going to talk about. The history of IoT starts with the basic operations of people to people connect to machine to machine connect okay and here is my insta account to contact me at any time so kashiv underscore info type. click this follow button you can contact me at any time here's my contact numbers and mine is Venkit. okay let's move on to the iot history so high ot history in the sense as i told you the people want to communicate to the people via sms 
So SMS, from there we got internet. The people can communicate to the people via something called as internet. Yeah, email or entertainment, other things, internet. Why the content? So internet of content. From there services comes. I want to buy online sir. Buy a product sir. Your e-commerce comes to the picture. From there socially connecting your internet of people comes. So pre-internet, you got the internet of content, internet of services, internet of people. Okay, so people are trying to connect Facebook, Skype, Twitter, LinkedIn, everything. From there connecting the things comes. Okay, so internet of things where machine will be connected to the machine to do monitoring and controlling. This is how your IoT history comes. You may ask me a question like, sir, how like the, the arrays of IoT starts sir? on the online transactions that is called as electronic data interchange. In the initial world, a buyer want to purchase an order, he will create a purchase order and your electronic, we don't have that electronic data interchange, it will go via the email and post, the purchase order will reach the vendor and he will prepare the products and he will be raising the invoice, this guy will be paying it and delivery will be happening. It's a huge process. Stop it man. I went to my Amazon, I want to buy online. So give me credit card, debit card number, pay it, Google Pay, pay it, finish it, man. So that's, that's how your electronic data interchange comes. It's a direct communication between the buyer and the, like, a, like a seller or like a, the guy who is going to create a supplier. Automatically, the electronic data interchange make the system very simple. Okay, this is how the arrays of EDI comes. From there, I want to have the data in my network, in my server, remote server somewhere. So the arrays of network comes where the data is started storing somewhere. From there, we got interconnection of computers in the worldwide, connecting multiple countries. That's why your arrays of internet comes. Okay, so arrays of internet in the sense that the data needs to be communicated to multiple people in different countries or different locations. So this can be achieved via the routers. So routers are nothing but the specialized devices. So transferring the packets of the data from the source to destination anywhere in the world via the great guy called internet. And this internet works in a, in a different manner. You are able to see the data is there and it is distributed into multiple routers or taking different parts. And finally you got the data once again back. This is how your internet works. The data communication is happening. Okay, and this is achieved with the great person called protocol. What do you mean by protocol, sir? Protocol is nothing but the technology or the program which will take care of transferring the data from source to destination. So protocol will take care of that one. And over here, we need a specialized protocol that is called transport and the internet protocol, TCP transmission control protocol and internet protocol. You got one person via the TCP and IP, via the internet, you are able to reach here. I'm typing hello and it reached hello here. Yeah, that's awesome, man. The arrays of internet comes in the picture. From there, everyone is running behind one great person called mobile. So your mobile is really important. So I don't want to take my computer, sir. I got my mobile. Yes, mobile is enough, man, to connect, man. So I, I'll go with this mobile. That's why your mobile internet comes in the picture. So the arrays of mobile internet. So using mobiles, you are able to access the internet via the Wi-Fi or mobile data. Okay, that's how your arrays of mobile internet comes. And from there, we need to connect your computers and devices using internet, your IoT comes in the picture. And you can see over here, Asia is the biggest volume of people using mobile internet when compared to anywhere in the world. That's the chart I'm trying to show you. So as I told you, the arrays of internet of things comes to the picture where the things are interconnected via the internet and it can be controlled via the internet. So that is called as internet of things. Over here, you are able to see, I got the data, everything is stored in the cloud servers and it is connected to the devices. I'm monitoring devices maybe. Okay, so but, but everything is stored somewhere in the cloud servers. Okay, that's how your internet of things works. Okay, so this is how the history. So from the connecting people via the internet, connecting the things via the internet is the latest concept arised. That is called as IoT. You may ask me a question, what technologies have made to become it's possible, sir? 
obviously internet cloud electronics artificial machine learning that's the one we are going to see now so arrays of the technologies so because of the cheaper cost of the sensors the sensors are very cheap people so they are able to do a great things with the cheapest cost connectivity internet is damn good now everyone is interconnected so connectivity is awesome so because everything which the business why the internet is success that is how the history now in 2022 now cloud computing as i told you cloud computing is dominating the industry Okay, instead of storing the data in my local servers, I can store somewhere in the remotely renting the technology. Okay, an Amazon from Amazon's AWS or Microsoft Azure platform or Google's cloud, Google Cloud platform is dominating people. Okay, so they are dominating. They are secure, reliable, availability is good. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. That's why like cloud computing enables IoT into a better format. and i want something intelligent sir your machine learning and artificial intelligence plays a very important role i'm standing here clicking a mobile data go to my google map my google will understand like okay this guy is standing here okay why the gps location so this is the way you need go so i i went to a wrong way man it will reroute and give it to you an optimized path man that's how your iot works it it is connecting everything it is connecting people and things and everything and finally in addition to that voice enabled devices why the cortana or siri the people like they are able to like i don't want to like manual do something man pressing or something like that i don't want anything just i'm giving a voice the voice is enabled and recognize automatically the device is controlled fan the fan is on ac the ac is on i'm able to control the devices why am i voice also so these are the things which make the iot much better okay so you may ask me a question sir i want to become an iot specialist sir what i can do just it's very simple bubble just contact me i'm ready to help you our company kashiv and product we are providing iot internship and iot courses we are online or also offline anything you can prefer i'm the trainer i can train you better and the best and job opportunities awesome i'll get you the job also okay so here is the opportunities available this is how you need to build your profile the first thing is that you need to learn about embedded system embedding the code into the chip making an electronic circuit so i'm not an electronics no problem i'll be there with you i'll train you people apart from that you can learn cloud computing and aws so you need to learn aws and other things and apart from that just learn java or dot net or python any technology to do the applications and other things and finally you can become an iot specialist by learning internet of things the salary is awesome people 40000 to 1 lakh 20000 they are paying 100% safest opportunity and finally to learn the electronics things you will be an expert iot is the best technology you can build your profile i i should you for that anyway so if you want to know like sir what are the topics i need to learn in iot is a simple go to this link kashyap.com/iot-internship i'll put this link in the description and also the first comment just click it and go to the link and learn the things okay just scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down you are able to see the topics over there so start looking into this and get an idea okay yes now iot futures so why iot is a tell me sir iot is awesome people that the reason is like any what is any man any time you can contact any place from anywhere you can contact any devices you can control from why any network you can do it any business you can use it and anybody can do it man everything is there that's why iot is famous okay now you may ask me a question where sir where it is famous in which industry i can see the iot like a uh, involvement sir consumer application man whatever things you are doing ac i can control washing machine i can control lights i can control fan i can control wearable devices watches heartbeat blood pressure everything you can control that's how your consumer application works the next level is medical field so in the medical industries is dominating in the see the eye surgery heart surgery everything is done via the internet the guy the, the doctor is sitting in america and he can he can do a surgery in india but via the internet they are doing it that is how it is dominating the medical industry obviously in all kind of manufacturing industries iot is dominating wherever the robotics and automation needs over there you are like iot plays a very important role and apart from the farming iot wise like industrial management monitoring devices 
traffic, railway tracks, bridges everywhere. And as I told you, farming is one area where the IoT devices will take care of like uh, sowing the seeds and everything, monitoring the uh, like growth of the crops, monitoring the like uh, uh, weeds and everything in the crops, everything it will take care. So that's how your agriculture farming, IoT plays a very important role. Now let's talk about very important area, IoT drivers and barriers. Which one driver, which one motivate IoT technology, sir? So which one is nothing but over here, IoT market drivers. So IoT market drivers in the sense, this is the one, investment. Very low investment, maybe like very high investment, but very large of revenues. Apart from that, very cheapest cost of sensors and hardware, mobile adoption, everyone is moving towards mobile people. So mobile is great now and internet is awesome. So these enables, these features enables the IoT into a greatest technology. Whereas, what are the barriers? Sir? The barrier in the sense, obviously, security is the biggest problem. Security and privacy concern is the biggest problem we are facing, okay? So the reason is like, uh, because our data is there somewhere. And apart from that, you got a technological fragmentation. Technological fragmentation in the sense like technology. To become an IoT specialist, you should be an embedder, you should be an artificial intelligence, you should be an electronic expert, you should be a cloud specialist. It's impossible, man. That's how the biggest problem is. And implemented because of that, we got some implementation problems also. But still, IoT is dominating. If you want to build your profile, please contact me anytime. Post in comments, I'm ready to help you. I've written an article, people, on wikitiki.com. Here is the article. Go to wikitiki.com, just scroll down, IoT is here. Just click it. I have written great article on IoT. Please look into it and learn as much as you can about IoT, a very powerful technology. Okay, so I'll put this link in the description. Here is the quiz question I want to ask you. What industries can benefit from IoT? The answer is in the video. If you know the answer, very simple, comment it. So type the question, this question in the comment and put your name and answer in the comment and put your Google Pay and account details in this particular link. I'm ready to help you with the cash price and it can be a part-time job also. Apart from that, like as I told you, our company Cashion Product, we are providing online internship and courses and offline internship and courses. You can contact me anytime. I'm ready to help you. I request you people to share this video to your friends and everyone. Let's hope like this technology will be a great change in your in your life and career. Okay, and you can contact me anytime for any help. Jai Hind, this is Venkat signing up from Wikiteki and Kashi Infotech.